Hi, in this session, we'll try to understand variables in Python. So what is a variable in Python? A variable is a named memory location. A variable is a named memory location. So to store temporary data within a program, we use variable to store temporary temporary data we use variables in a program variables in a in programs okay so how does variable uh, we have to uh, declare and how memory allocation will happen uh, we will try to understand okay so let me open paint uh, whenever whenever if I am writing a equals to 10 okay so here right side one is called value and left side one is called variable so a is a variable here and the value 10 we have assigned it to variable a okay the moment when you give a equals to 10 what happens in memory there is a fixed location gets uh, create so this in this memory location your value 10 will go and sit and it is memory location and its address may be uh, some number okay so here is what a is pointing to this memory location okay so this is how internally a, a variables will point to memory locations in which our actual values we will go and sit fine so what happens when i make a equals to 20 so when i do when i change the value of a from 10 to 20 there will be another memory location gets create and the new value 20 is being placed into new memory location and this memory location is different from previous memory location so that is it is different location and now what happens is your a will start pointing to new memory location uh, and a will stop pointing to a will stop pointing to first memory location so in the first instance when a equals to 10 a was pointing to this memory location and when you modified value of a a, a new value has been stored in new address and now, now a started pointing to this new memory location so when a started pointing to new memory location automatically it will stop pointing to the first memory location okay now let me create another line b equals to a so what happens b equals to a means the value of a 20 is getting stored in a new variable called b so what happens to b variable so b variable also gets created with another memory location and then value 20 is been getting stored in variable b and this is of with another uh, memory address <coughs> uh, let me write here so let's say this is uh, some other address and now variable b is pointing to this location so this is how you know uh, variable memory allocation happens in in other languages not in python in in languages like c comma java variable allocation happens like this okay so then how it happens in python let us try to understand how does it happens in python so then you will get to know exactly why the reason i have shown uh, other languages memory allocation mechanism because you will get to know uh, the difference between other languages and python and how best python is you will have you will be coming understanding you will you'll understand so if i write a equals to 10 okay the same steps i would like to show and uh, i would like to give exact difference what is going to happen here so automatically uh, the same like a new memory location gets created in the memory and now 10 is getting stored in 
this location and now your a is pointing to this memory location and this address may be like double one double two double three double four okay some number fine here this 10 is not a value as such rather in python every other data is being treated as like object so 10 is int object int object okay fine let me proceed when you do a equals to 20 uh, like in previous program what had happened uh, let me check what is going to happen here so here also new memory location gets to create and in the new memory location we are going to store our new value 20 and what happens is this a is going to point to the new memory location okay so till here is like what had happened in the previous case same thing has happening here also so here a will start pointing to new memory location and a stops pointing to the first memory location okay so so continuing this example now if i make b equals to a b equals to a so 20 is the value getting stored in b so 20 is an int object so in python i'm talking 20 is an int object so now what happens is your python interpreter has to create a memory location like this uh, here but actually the beauty of python is so what python interpreter does is okay there is a variable b got created now i have to create memory location so before create creating memory location let me check whether is there any uh, memory location with the value 20 is there or not okay so before that let me give some address to it okay so before allocating a new memory location for b uh, and before putting 20 in it let me check is there any memory location with value 20 is existing or not yeah when it come across uh, this memory location 20 it has uh, it is saying so now what python interpreter does is why to uh, waste a, another memory location and put 20 where already the value 20 is there in another uh, memory location so let me go ahead and point to the same memory location so so if you really see here a b is also pointing to the same memory location and where a is pointing okay so that's how uh, you can able to minimize your uh, uh, the new variable creation so so the advantage what you can see here is effective effective <clears throat> memory utilization effective memory utilization so that is the reason uh, this is one of the key reason why python is uh, so much preferable when comparative to other language so python programs takes less amount of memory and uh, you know it will give very good outputs fine this is how the memory allocation happens and let's continue with uh, you know understanding the same through program let me open okay so let me open ideal <clears throat> okay so control n control s so python underscore lab so variable one okay so where one dot py so this is the program understanding variables in python okay so first a equals to 10 is what i have typed so let me print that value of a let me print uh, id of a okay so what does this id function gives it gives address of variable variable a okay control s control s run run module so if you see if you see variable a 10 value displayed straight away with the first print statement and print id of a it is showing the address of the 
uh, variable a so this is what i was uh, referring to double one double two double three double four so some number fine so a got stored in a memory location you uh, can see the result now let me make a equals to 20 as per my example let me make a equals to 20 now print a now print id of a so same same uh, comment so control s f5 so you see now you see now when you modified value of a to 20 uh, it is getting stored in a new memory location that is the reason you can see new address of a so as i have told you when a is 10 it is in double three double four when a is 20 it is in double five double six as per my example so so that is how it has been storing in different uh, address now b equals to a is what i am doing so print b obviously it will be showing 20 and print id of b so if you really uh, understood this b value address b address is also will be pointing to the uh, you know same address okay so control s so tell me b address is this a or this a obviously b is 20 so 20 is uh, before creating any new memory location your interpreter will point to the uh, ob memory location where object 20 is residing so let me execute this first control s and f5 so as i have told you if you see b value 20 is also pointing to the same memory location so 544 544 so this is what i was telling you when you created new variable with a value 20 that is a where a is pointing to this memory location so b also starts pointing to the same memory location so that way uh, the memory utilization is very effectively happens in python fine so let's let's try to understand how to find out the uh, data type of a variable okay so finding data type of a variable okay so let me let me give a print statement uh, so just to see some gap in the output fine you already know what is a value a is 20 so let us type type of a so type of a it, it gives it gives data type of variable a okay now let me create a new variable uh, let's say x equals to 102.45 print type of x right so when i typed when when i when i gave type of a when a value is 20 so it will show int type now when i say one x equals 102.45 when i'm trying to see the uh, type of x it will say other than int what is that let me go ahead and show control s f5 so you see and un, uh, under this line okay so above output is all understanding the memory location point and below is like understanding the data types points so class int x print type of a so a is integer type print of x x is 102.45 and type of x is float type so there are multiple data types we have in python we will be understanding data types in a while uh, so in, in may probably maybe in the next session so in this session we will we are focusing on understanding only variables so let me go ahead and make you understand multiple assignment in python so multiple variable assignment okay so you all know a comma b comma c 10 comma 20 comma 30 so so these are these are uh, three variables which i have uh, declared and the, all these three variables have declared in single line usually what do we do is a equals to 10 b equals to 20 
c equals to 30 okay this is how we do in other all programming languages but in python what you can do is all these three lines you can able to write in one line like this so what is the value of a here can you guess what is the value of b here can you guess and c so let me execute and show it is showing 10 20 30 okay so let me show here print so that uh, it will be pretty clear with equals to okay let me execute yeah so multiple variable assignment means what a comma b comma c equals to 10 comma 20 comma 30 when i gave uh, and when i printed a b c individually it is saying 10 20 30 so why a is taking 10 and why b is taking 20 and of course why c is taking 30 so how this is working means the first value right side whatever it is there okay so this will this value will be going ahead and storing in the first variable at left side and second value second variable third value third variable fine so likewise it will work so if you want you can see output once again so same 10 20 30 it is showing let us say if i write a d here and if i'm trying to execute uh, it will say error it will show error so why it is see uh, showing error for us if you really understand left side you have taken four variables and right side you are providing only three variables so expected four got to three so right side your interpreter was expecting for four variables four uh, variables but it you have given only three that is what it is saying so let me change let me try to do some modification so let me write d uh, let me write the fourth value that is 40 automatically this program will work fine but you don't see 40 in the answer why because i have not printed let me do that also control s f5 yeah now you can see all four variables print print answers okay right now let's try to understand deleting a variable fine how do we delete variable in python uh, just we use a keyword called del del b okay so let me try to save this and let me try to fi uh, to run this so see here 10 20 30 40 output has come till up to here and what is the current scenario is in our memory location um, variable b got deleted that is what uh, you know the result of this del b statement right so how to verify that if you want you can give print b again okay so what happens this will give error okay saying that b i cannot able to find control s let me run 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 module you see after printing 10 20 30 40 del b is also executed so from the memory location variable b got deleted and after that you are trying to print b so you see here print b uh, name b is not defined okay so if you really observe error is in line number 27 okay error is in line number 27 so 27 means you can understand uh, this is the so if you count all these lines okay approx 10 and another 10 and 7 so so basically error is in this line okay so you just make this as like a comment okay now there will not be any error okay so that is what it is you can easily understand this is the only line which is prompting the error now let me let me delete let me make this comment let me del c now okay and let me print c after deleting you are trying to see the value of c right obviously it will not able to show to you right now error line is error line is 29 so it was 27 earlier 28 and 29 so here is the error what is that name c is not defined how can you cannot able to see uh, variable c value because it got deleted in the previous slide so that's the reason you are not able to see the value of c okay so this is how you can able to delete the variables in python okay so what all we have studied is all about uh, variables in python in our next topic next session we will be starting off with data types in python okay thank you